Oh my gosh, guys, Brawl Talk was released, and we've got some pretty cool stuff to, t to cover in this video here. Now, I knew what the Brawl Talk was coming. I didn't know it was coming this soon, or I probably wouldn't have slept in. Anyways, I've taken the time to do a deep dive on the newest brawler coming to Brawl Stars, Rosa, and I'm going to go over all those details with you right now. We'll talk about some of the obvious points here, but we'll definitely get into the nitty gritty things that uh, you probably missed when watching the Brawl Talk that I figured out by <laughs> watching it frame by frame. Uh, first of all, 7,000 HP, that's fourth highest in the game, just barely under Bull, who has 7,280. This is at max level. So she's a pretty tanky brawler. Her attack, she throws out two quick punches that each deal 672 damage. That is 13,000 damage uh, with one single attack, which is not a ton. It's the fifth lowest in the game, puts her right between Jesse and Terra. It's kind of similar to Crow, but with the actual poison, like if he throws out a complete attack and um, that's the only attack that he does so that the poison actually does a little bit of damage on top of it. So it's kind of like a little tickle. And I double checked to see if her attack is similar to El Primo's where he punches right, left, right, left, but she actually attacks on the same side every single time. It's just right in the middle of her shot. So that's actually different than El Primo where El Primo you can actually use the trick to go around El Primo to avoid some damage with her, it's not going to be as easy. Her attack range has a range of about three and one thirds tiles, which is a third tile longer than El Primo's, which is the second lowest range in the game, tied with Mortis. So we're not talking about a very big range. She actually does get outranged by Bull by a tile and two thirds. So you definitely have to watch out for that. Now I paid really close attention to her reload speed and it comes out to one point. 0.2 seconds. I double check this and I triple check this. That is the fastest reload speed in the game aside from Bull using his star power. El Primo had the highest at 1.4 seconds, so an entire 0.2 seconds faster for her reload speed. That's nuts. And when you combine her attack damage with her reload speed, she has a damage per second of 1,120, which I know that you guys don't keep track of DPSs like I do, but that's exactly the same as Frey meaning that she'll have the seventh highest DPS in the game despite having a low damaging attack. Also, I just wanted to take a moment to point out that I totally named a brawler Rosa when I did a video talking about brawler concepts that should be added into the game. For the record, I also guessed that a brawler that would be going invisible would be added into the game and a brawler that would have a hook would also be added into the game. I've totally guessed three brawlers being added to Brawl Stars. Boom! Even more reason to subscribe, guys. Now her super, oh my gosh. Okay, so her super decreases damage that a brawler will deal to her. She greatly nerfs the damage that she will receive by, based off of the number of shells that Bull landed on her, when I like zoomed really close in and saw that three of the five shells actually landed uh, on her, her super decreases damage by 80%, which, is insane that's so much if she has max hp and that means that it would take 12 complete hits for a bull to take her out 12 bull shots right in the face when she has her super activated that is nuts and it lasts six seconds long which is plenty of time to like run in grab some gems run away or like deal damage to a turret deal damage to an enemy ike she can actually last 33 ike attacks <laughs> which which uh, takes 17 seconds, so she'll run out of her super before she uh, actually does uh, get taken out by an Ike like that. But that means that she's going to be able to rush in and deal damage to an Ike and basically deal a decent amount of damage. It's like a Frank going down on an Ike turret, which is pretty good. Now, I don't know what the super recharge rate is going to be like. They didn't show the actual... Thing, so I can't I, I don't know that but I did pay attention to all of the gameplay for Rosa and if she did get 3.5 complete hits in without charging her super at one point so my guess is that it will take four or five complete hits for her to charge her super if it were five that would be very similar to Poco Penny or Mortis except she has a faster reload speed so she'll be able to use her super more frequently I don't know what it's going to be uh, but uh, it, it's gonna be interesting I think that that's gonna be the one of the key things that's going to determine whether she's like too OP because her super is ridiculous. Now for her star power, oh my gosh, 
This is crazy. I'm really excited about Rosa for a lot of reasons. She's gonna heal 300 HP per second. <laughs> This is this is nuts. She does have to be hiding in a bush for her to for it to be activated. Now, for reference, if a Pam with her star power hits all nine cogs on a single target, she heals 270 HP for her attack, and that is it's just, it comes out to a 0 0.9 seconds. But Pam rarely uh, hits all nine cogs on an enemy target and after three attacks pam is going to run out of ammo which means that her healing rate is going to be decreased significantly so think of like pam's star power healing rosa consistently whenever she is hiding in a bush and it looks like it activates as soon as she walks into that bush as soon as she goes transparent she starts that healing process which is absolutely nuts that's right guys i just held up a pacifier i was feeding baby kairos before making this video <laughs> i like to fidget guys and i got pacifiers in my hands so whatever don't judge me i'm a dad now you are definitely not going to want to mess with rosa in a bush not for the same reason you're gonna want to not mess with like a shelly or a bull because they'll blast you away but because it's gonna be really hard for you to take her out if she is healing like that you're gonna have to really burst her down and very few brawlers have the ability to burst down a brawler uh, with that much HP that's also healing 300 HP per second. That's absolutely insane. And if she charges up her super on you, like, yeah, maybe you'll be able to survive if you're like an El Primo or something like that for a little bit and maybe like charge up your super and just run away. But there's no way you're going to be able to take her out during those six seconds when she has her super charged up unless you like got her really close to death right before she started using her super. For her movement speed, I have paid really close attention to all the gameplay. I tried to compare it uh, the best that I could. I think I think that she has the same movement speed as El Primo, but I that could be wrong. That would be that would at least make sense because she's a melee brawler. And here we can actually see a little bit of a, a chart that compares her to every other brawler uh, in the game, just to give you a little bit of reference for what she's gonna be like. Rosa is absolutely nuts. This is gonna be so interesting to try out. She has a decent range for her abilities i mean decent range like it's one of the lowest in the games but like think of el primo like <laughs> it still feels she's gonna be a very easy brawler to use and she's gonna probably be really overwhelming in lower trophy areas when people don't know how to use positioning to the best of their abilities to try and like stay away from her but higher up i think she's still still gonna a little like kind of uh, struggle a little bit um, similar, you know, she's gonna be a little bit more map dependent, just very similar to like how El Primo is. She doesn't have the mobility that El Primo does. That's one thing with El Primo Super that allows him to actually make up for the fact that he uh, is a close range brawler is his added mobility. And she does not have that. She has that additional tankiness, which means that she'll be able to survive for a long period of time. Um, we are, we're actually getting like a tanky brawler. She, I was thinking that we were missing like a tank from the game and I thought that they were going to add a brawler into the game that was just going to have like 10,000 HP like way more than any other maybe even 14,000 HP but instead what they've done is they've made a brawler that will be able to survive once you have you know once you have uh, her super up. It's it's gonna be very interesting. I'm really excited to see how she's gonna work out. It's gonna be fun to have another low skill cap brawler be added into the game with the addition of like Leon who was... <laughs> I think meant to be a medium skill cap brawler, but ended up being a super easy skill cap brawler. You know what I mean? But then we also had Carl and Jean who were also high skill cap brawlers. Rosa will be a very low skill cap brawler, very easy to use. I know, I know, I know. I know I have said this so many times and I've been wrong. I've guessed whether a brawler is going to be strong or it's going to be weak. I think she's going to be strong, guys. I think she's going to be strong. She's going to be good. She's going to be a good brawler, I think. I'll test her out on the dev build, guys, and uh... Yeah. I'll let you know as soon as I'm allowed to. We're also getting Bunny Penny added into the game. Uh, it looks like her turret is gonna have some sort of a pink bunny looking dispenser thing. My guess is it's going to fire Easter eggs, uh, but depending on how cool the super is, I think it's gonna cost you know either 80 gems or 150 gems. Um, I'm really hoping that it fires off Easter eggs. That would be super cool. We also got Shiba Nita, and I had to look up what a Shiba was. It's 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 like this dog. You know, this dog. I don't, I'm not a dog person. I don't know dogs very well. Um, Shiba Inu 
type of dog. And they gave us a little bit of gameplay of what Shiba Nita is going to look like as well. Gotta be honest, I think this is going to be my personal favorite Nita skin. I really like the rain, the rain bear skin, the reindeer skin, but uh, I think that this is going to look a little bit more classy. I am such a fan of like Japanese culture and I watch a ton of anime, like way more than most people. That's right guys, I'm kind of a nerd. Oh, you didn't know that? I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, I was hoping for like a, for my, the next Nita skin to have a different attack animation and it looks like her attack animation is going to be just the same, but that's really, that's really Really cool. I'm not certain what the gem cost is going to be, but my guess is 150 gems because this skin looks legit. We also got a bow remodel. Here's a little clip of some gameplay um, of bow. Of bow, you can see some of the arrows being fired off. They look really, really cool. Um, we don't have an image of what the mines are going to look like. I gotta be honest. I'm a little sad about um, <laughs> the old bow skin. I felt or the model. It was like really cool, like very. Um, Native American type uh, skin and he just like looked like he had all of this wisdom and now he kind of looks like cute um, with his eagle stuff and I think that it makes more sense it fits the Brawl Stars theme a little bit more uh, now he's, he's a little bit yeah yeah but I'm gonna miss the old one so goodbye Bo teaming well I guess yeah I was hoping for a little bit more um, uh, against teaming, but I'll take what I can get. So meteors are gonna start targeting teamers a little bit more. They were supposed to before, so I don't know exactly what this means. Um, they mentioned specifically that it's going to be targeting like large groups of teaming. I am not a fan of large groups of teaming, but I'm also not a fan of just two people teaming. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. It all. They also mentioned that healing mushrooms won't spawn near teamers, and the energy drinks won't spawn near teamers. So I really like that. There's not an easy way for Supercell to just get rid of teaming and make it an unviable strategy in the game. So, you know, that's fine. I'm happy that they're doing their best to try and improve uh, the situation with teaming. So, yeah, I guess I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I do think that teaming is getting better, I think, um, but it's still more prevalent than I would like it to be. Other stuff. Okay, Training Cave. That's all we got was the name of Training Cave, a cave where you can test out brawlers. And on this account, they were actually able to use, like they, they had purchased the Shiba Nita skin. So my hope, I don't know how it will work out, but my hope is that you'll be able to test out new brawlers and skins that you have not unlocked yet. This way you'd be able to like test out Crow or something like that before having unlocked him so that you can actually see if he's worth buying. There's also a name change coming uh, that's gonna cost gems. Here it shows 50 gems. My guess is that they, uh, I, you'll get one, like you'll get one free name change just like always. And my guess is that they're going to make it like Clash Royale's name change feature where it actually increases in gem price the more that you do it. And they also mentioned Brawl TV. My guess is that there, there's two ways that they could do Brawl TV. They have actually have on Brawl Stars' Twitch channel, you can actually go watch a live stream right now that they just started doing where you can actually watch top level gameplay of players playing various modes that are, have the highest trophies in the game. They're kind of like a leaderboard. So it's, it could either be like that where it's just a stream that people can go watch those matches like that or it'll be like Clash Royale where you can actually go and see uh, replays, specific replays and you can choose. Oh, this is gonna be interesting because of all these trophy levels. I'll watch this one. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what it's going to be like. I don't know what will it, if it will just be like that, but uh, either way, I'm really excited that they'll have some sort of a feature so that players uh, can go and watch competitive matches without, uh, so that they can kind of like learn from that because there's a lot to learn from competitive matches, especially if you're just barely starting out in the game. Um, and you want to know like which brawlers are gonna work best for certain maps and stuff Also, it looks like there's gonna be some UI changes uh, We don't know to the extent of what it's going to be like but here We do have a picture of some UI changes and also oh my gosh Look at that Nita shirt. I need more brawl merch in my life for all stars Anyways guys lots of stuff coming up you guys know that I'm gonna be covering the information as I'm able to release it to you the second that I absolutely can. You're, you're gonna wanna subscribe for a future Brawl Stars update information, guys. Let me know what you think about this update. I really do wanna know what you're excited about. I want to know what you think about Rosa. Uh, if you, she's gonna be OP or not. I personally think she's gonna be a very strong brawler. I'm just still so excited that, <laughs> that I named a brawler in Brawl Stars. Even if Supercell didn't know it, 
I named it. I named it. I'm totally calling it. I named Rosa. <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. For now, this is Kairos time ticking by, and we will see you in the update.